This video will show a solution for a run in Microsoft Access uh, where I will load, uh, scan uh, websites uh, and completely get their, uh, their content into a database. So this is web scraping or a web robot. <coughs> what I have prepared here is uh, the, the sol this solution is written in Visual Basic, uh, in Microsoft Access Visual Basic. Uh, it's quite easy to handle and to adapt on your own websites. So first I uh, will show you this uh, how this uh, machine runs. So in the background we see the access database when which it uh, when it starts and I simply push a button on that point. Let's take this one. It's very small. Uh, so as you see when I push this button, a website opens, and now the website uh, runs through all those lists on the uh, on the top row in the menu, like this one. And all websites are structured sim similarly. It's, uh, it doesn't matter if it's Google or or uh, eBay, Facebook. It's always the same. You have some elements there. It's HTML and maybe you want to scan uh, some tables, some online tables. So what the machine does is it uh, opens a website and it looks up for, an, in this case, for the menu bar and then it lists all, it takes all links and runs to that links uh, and that's not not very easy, uh, not very difficult to, to do and to reprogram. You may take after this the whole entire database and use it for your own web scraping if you want to collect information for a database for itself. So, what the machine di did here now, you see, it ran through all those uh, pages. And I say, okay, stop that stuff, I don't need anymore. And now it collected all those data in a, it simply collected the URL there, uh, which in with what they found in uh, that website and the, and the example what you see there is my that's my own domain so it collected it ran through all those areas and it collected always the, all those big links and we, we will go do through this uh, in a, uh, quite, quite soon so and how it does this point so I close this out again now the system needs the information which is on uh, each website so um, they say uh, I run now through all those details now I'll stop unable to stop and it's just a demonstration site and you may take the code for your own uh, project now it takes all websites which have no title uh, uh, filled in and it opens that website and then it goes to the title title uh, line element it takes the text from there and then the import the big block and the data so I stop that stuff now so stopped and as soon as we open now our page we will see that we have here uh, it collected the details the title the path and this is possible for all your website websites which you have uh, and which uh, which you want to collect it's like like what what Google does Google runs through everything as a search machine and then it takes that stuff so uh, now I show you how you may uh, modify that code for yourself first I have here some key data key data means I said there there's a start URL and the domain and this is Microsoft uh, a programmer a German, a German website and there is my starting page and then I say okay here on the go to and the build event from go to target we have the point uh, first we reset that stop button in this case and now the system does the following it takes the URL text the URL from which is uh, we first set this by the start value and then we have the big block is we have a browser element this is a CTL browser called control browser in this case we have this that's a big one it said this is a selection type web browser you will find this point on 
here design this here this web browser control in uh, Microsoft Access. When you use Excel, Excel or uh, Excel or Outlook or Pro MS Project, uh, you will find you have to embed it in the code, for example, yeah, and then drop it in there. But but uh, then you have the same control, and inside the control, inside this control. Uh, there's written unbound inside the uh, control when you load a website the website has a content so this is the HTML content or content of a website so what we say here the inside the browser is not the control itself the control is that frame now we have the control and the the object which which is inside is the web browser it's a uh, uh, the Internet Explorer control then we say make that point silent so the if there's a javascript error that uh, shouldn't stop there and then we say browser navigate to this url so it opens that website and then comes some stuff which where i have a big module there wait for document means uh, wait as long as the document uh, until the document is uh, not ready uh, it, the, when it loads the website, it has to be at the final moment, okay, uh, the final down down to the last element. Uh, and then we say, okay, read that list. And now we, we are the, at the point what we want to do. Uh, whenever you go to a website, you will find um, that the uh, when you have got the HTML document, the loaded which is inside. This document can do some stuff, so this may have the possibility to get elements by ID, uh, by the class, by the by the ID is only one element, so on the other points there are elements by class name tag and so on. Now when we check that website and go to the uh, scrutinizing there, then we will see. For the first moment, give me this big block there, now I say okay. Uh, scrutinize that stuff we will see there is uh, this is my single element and this is which is uh, elided the um, CTLs uh, this one the ID diff it's a diff block a big block with the ID and the system does the following the code says okay give me this element as diff element and we have here um, HTML and when I go there we will see we have all HTML elements there, so uh, I have here a diff element, I know that it's a diff, and in a diff element I will get uh, get elements by class. So this diff, when I go there, uh, get me all elements by, by that class time, which, uh, which is this one which is written inside there. So when we are here in a, this big block, and uh, when we want that link, for example, this link, then we will see this is a span element, and here's a A record. Here's a the um, the link itself, and this is the this is the inner element. This is uh, the link. It's the the text inside, formatted text inside. So what what I say here is, give me the diff element, and then run through all those elements give me all elements by that class so this is this stuff and now i'm loading an array so it's still in memory it comes from there and goes into an array and then i will say that this is microsoft uh, visual basic for uh, applications then i will say okay uh, navigate when you have the first or for all links in that which we have collected we will say uh, take take the stuff there, uh, write the stuff in this uh, big control there here for for the user type it in here so so you may see what's going on and then we say navigate browser navigate to that link then we wait a little bit we don't have to so, but it's Better if you if there's a if the internet has uh, is weak for example then you should wait wait three seconds for example or one second or nothing and then wait for document means wait until the document is loaded down to the last point and then we would say okay then um, when you are in a list 
take me give me all elements from the give me the main document the main area and then all this there all links so here I would say okay when you open this block when one there then give me this big block this it's everywhere the same give me an area for example give me the big list the big air diff element where all the links are and then give me the first link, second link, and so on. So this is uh, this link, for example, is an AREF. This uh, means link, and this has an ID. And this is of this class time. So uh, we would say in the code, we say, give me all elements by class list items main link title. That's what what the stuff is there, and you will find it everywhere. Link title here of this class. So it gets all those elements there, and we would say, take that element and edit it into a database uh, into the record set. So this is add record set, create a new record set, and if the if the record set with the URL is not given, then add it to that point and then uh, take the next one. So and finally, you, we would say, okay, give me all record sets where the title is zero or nothing and then open that website with a link which you have there wait until the document is there and then take the span which is called the element id subheader main content da 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 da, da breadcrumb and then write it into the database and finally close the database and then everything is done so what we have there is a module HTML so this is like a class or a public shared class uh, we have I have added here a bunch of uh, visual basic application um, f functions in C sharp it's uh, methods so this is functions where you may take get a child element of something where you may get uh, element by tag or by name by inner text by um, give me something uh, give me an attribute for example yeah and and um, or here fire a, a fire an event so when you have a select button a in submit submit button you may fire that ev event that it's on change or, or on on click that's that's all the stuff which you may do there and um, so what I do now is yeah and did we now load it or not? Uh, yeah, here, here we got here. We have, we have already read that stuff. I will load this this database onto my website here, and the English verse version is on CodeDoku. You may take that code and build up your own uh, web scraper and modify it. And if you have question, questions, then ask me for that.